Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about 4x1 multiplexer in digital electronics course and digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is multiplexer, what is the functional block diagram of a multiplexer and what are the applications of multiplexer and design of 2 by 1 multiplexer. These are the points that we are discussed in the previous video. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Dibbela Srinivasarao. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about 4 by 1 multiplexer. So, this is the block diagram of 4 by 1 multiplexer. Generally, a multiplexer can take 2 power n number of inputs and it produce only one output. Okay. So, among the 2 power n number of inputs, only one input is selected by using n number of selection lines. How many number of selection lines are required? So, in the 2 power n number of inputs, in the power place, n is there. So, therefore, n number of selection lines are required. By using that n number of selection lines, we have to select only one input among the 2 power n number of inputs. Whatever the input that is selected, that input can be sended as the output. So that only one output we are getting. So the 4 by 1 multiplexer can take 4 inputs. Can take 4 inputs and it produce only one output. This 4 can be written as 2 power 2. So, in the power place, 2 is there. Therefore, number of selection lines is equal to 2. Okay. 4 inputs, 2 selection lines and 1 output. So, now see the block diagram of 4 by 1 multiplexer. So, 4 inputs are there. A0, A1, A2, A3. 1 output is there. That is Y. Two selection lines are there, S1 and S0. Okay. So, 4 by 1 multiplexer can take four inputs A0, A1, A2, A3 and it produce only one output that is Y. Two selection lines that is S1, S0. Here, E is called as the enable input if E value is equal to 0, the multiplexer does not perform its operation. If E value is equal to 1, the multiplexer can perform its operation, whatever we are discussing here. Now, if E value is equal to 1, S1, S0 value is equal to 0, 0. So, S1 and S0 values can be taken as selection inputs and the output is Y. Okay. If S1, S0 value is equal to 0, 0, the equivalent decimal value is 0. Hence, we can select the first input. The first input is A0. A0 is selected that the selected input can be sended as the output. Now, y is equal to a0. Next one, s1, s0 value is for 0 and 1. So, the equivalent decimal value is 1. So, we have to select the a1 input. That input can be sended as the output. Then, y is equal to a1. Next, S1, S0 value for 1 and 0. 
the equivalent decimal value is 2. Hence, A2 input is selected. That input can be sent as the output. Then, Y is equal to A2. Next, S1, S0 values are 1 and 1. The equivalent decimal value is 3. So, that A3 input is selected. That input can be sent as the output. So, y is equal to A3. So, in the truth table, instead of taking these inputs, we are taking only selection inputs. How many number of selection inputs are there? Two selection inputs are there. With the two inputs, how many number of input combinations are there? Four input combinations. So, that are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0 decimal equivalent value is 0. 0, 1 decimal equivalent value is 1. 1, 0 decimal equivalent value is 2. 1, 1 decimal equivalent value is 3. Okay. If S1, S0 values are 0 and 0, the equivalent decimal value is 0. So that we have to select the a naught input that a naught input can be sent as the output then y is equal to a naught next if s1 s naught values are 0 1 the equivalent decimal value is 1 so that we have to select a1 input whatever the input that is selected that can be sent as the output then y is equal to a1 Next, S1, S0 values are 1 and 0. The equivalent decimal value is 2. Therefore, we have to select A2 input. That input can be sent as the output. Then Y is equal to A2. If S1, S0 values are 1 and 1, the equivalent decimal value is 3. Therefore, we have to select A3 input. Whatever the input that is selected, that input can be sent as the output. Then Y is equal to A3. This operation can be done when enable input E is equal to 1. Therefore, enable input E is called as control input. Now, once we are constructing the functional truth table of 4 by 1 multiplexer, now we have to write the logical expression or a Boolean expression for output variable y. So, y is equal to, y is equal to, first S1 value 0, S0 value 0. S1 value 0 means S1 bar. S0 value 0 means we have to write S0 bar. Then what is the output we are getting? That is A0. Plus, next, A1 input. So when S1 value 0, S1 value 0 means S1 bar. And S0 value 1 means we have to write S0. And what is the output we are getting? A1. Next, we can go for third row, A2. S1 value is 1. So that is S1. S0 value 0. We have to write S0 bar. And what is the output we are getting? That is A2. Plus, next go for the fourth row. S1 value is 1. That is S1. S0 value is also 1. S0. Then what is the output we are getting? That is A3. So this is the logical expression or a boolean expression for output variable y. So this expression can be written by using this functional truth table. Okay, so consider the first row, S1 value 0, S0 value 0, therefore S1 bar, S0 bar. Then what is the output we are getting? That is A0. Consider the second row, S1 value 0, S0 value 1. S1 0 means S1 bar, S0 1 means we have to write S0. Then what is the output we are getting? That is A1. Consider the third row, S1 value 1, S0 value 0. S1, S0 bar. So then what is the output grading? A2. Plus, go to the fourth row. S1 value 1, S0 value 1. So Y value is A3. S1, S0, A3. Okay. Once we are getting the 
logical expression for or what are boolean expression for output variable y then we have to draw the circuit diagram so in this uh, logical expression or a boolean expression for output variable y what are the how many number of variables are there three variables so s1 s0 these are the selection inputs a0 a1 a2 a3 are the outputs so first i am writing the selection inputs so s1 this is s1 line s1 line means s1 value is equal to 1 so this line is s1 value is 0 that means s1 bar next one s0 line this is s0 line we have to add not gate then we are getting this is a s0 bar okay now first s1 bar s0 bar so this is s1 bar and this is s0 bar then this is a0 this is a0 so these three inputs can be sended to one and gate next one s1 bar so this is s1 bar next one s0 this is s0 next one a1 input so this is a1 input these three inputs can be sended to one and gate next one s1 s0 bar so this is s1 s0 bar this one s0 bar and a2 input so this is a2 input these three inputs can be sended to one and gate so next one fourth one s1 s0 so this is s1 next s0 this is s0 next one a3 input this is a3 input these three inputs can be sended to one and gate one and gate so once we are getting these four and gates four and gates outputs are connected to one or gate this is four input or gate this is a y so therefore so y is equal to s1 bar s0 bar a0 so this is s1 bar s0 bar this is a0 and second one this one is s1 bar s0 a1 and uh, this one is s1 s0 bar and this is a2 and last one is s1 s0 a3 so therefore y is equal to s1 bar s0 bar a0 plus s1 bar s0 a1 plus s1 s0 bar a2 plus s1 s0 a3 so this is the circuit diagram or a logic diagram of 4 by 1 multiplexer so this is the block diagram of 4 by 1 multiplexer and this is the functional truth table of 4 by 1 multiplexer this is the logic expression for output variable y output variable y and this is the circuit diagram of 4 by 1 multiplexer 4 by 1 multiplexer so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section 
I will clarify your doubts. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel after subscribing my YouTube channel. So, Divya Srinivasarao. Please forward this video to your friends and classmates. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.